I'm Carl Walden, and welcome to another episode of High Desert Heathenry. On this episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the equipment that I use and how I'm going to load up my pack for my next adventure. As you can see, I have an array of equipment here on the table, so what I'm going to do is go through and talk about each piece just for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go through and load it for you so you can see how I load out this pack. Smith & Wesson 686 Performance Center 357 Magnum with a Western Images uh, like sportsman-style holster. It sits right here on my chest, and then I've got some Speed Bees here. Sunto Compass. I've got a nice little just hanky. I wrap this up in to keep it from getting smashed. Got my pace beads. Got two sporks here. Paracord. Thicker paracord. Sewing kit for repairs. A Sawyer water filter and all of its uh, accessories just stuck in a bag. Metal water bottle for collecting and boiling water if need be. Trapping wire. Bank line. Sleeping pad. Now for sleeping, I'm actually going to have these two separate things here. This is a Swagman roll made by Helicon Tex. It's only good for like 30 degrees, like keeping you alive at that, I think. This is a Hike and Bike Eolus 800 fill power with duck down, um, zero degree bag, ultra light bag. And as you can see, there's not that much difference in the size. So in the summertime, I use the one on the left. For winter, I'm gonna use this. I actually made the mistake of using that a couple weekends ago and got down to like 13 degrees and I was like, wow, this is absolutely terrible. But I made it through, you know? This is a uh, Gore-Tex bivy sack. That way I don't wake up covered in frost. I'm sleeping in that in more of like a minimalist shelter. I do have some plastic. That way I can not get wet from the ground, but I can also use it as like a door on part of a tent or something like that. And it'll let light and heat come through. And it'll actually like just help retain heat in there for me. Blades, this is, I actually don't know the model. I think it's the Explorer Swiss Army Knife by Victoria Knox. An original old school Leatherman S-Wing hatchet. This knife that I have yet to do a review on. I'm going to do that here in a little bit. Tops, uh, Brothers of Bushcraft knife. Backo Laplander folding saw. This is an Easy Lap Diamonds uh, steel sharpener from Carson City, Nevada. Here I've got my Spyderco uh, Manix 2. And a right in the rain pencil. I actually have a notepad I typically just keep in my pocket. This is a first aid kit. I've got tourniquets, trauma wrap, etc. inside of it. And just one of those little small hiking boo-boo kits or whatever you want to call it. This here is a clothing bag. I've just got a shirt in there, a couple pairs of socks, some skivvies. Here we uh, in this bag. Kind of like random stuff. Some of it's for fire starting. Some of it's uh, dry wood in here. Um, tape, sharpening stone for my axe. Uh, pocket bellows, a lighter. And then I have some tinder tins. One of these actually already has tinder in it. That's why it's got a piece of tape on it. The second one here is empty. Uh, that way I can make more make char cloth and things like that. A little nesting cup. I actually stick this inside my Stanley kit. This here is just a Coleman Peak One burner. Pretty basic, pretty simple. It was like... 20 bucks and uh it's actually worked out really good it sits right inside of here this sits inside of my stanley uh like metal pot that i have and then just stick the lid on it pack it away this is a little head wrap for you know trying not to uh, sweat in my sleeping bag too much this is actually to go in here and keep that from rattling around because i get tired of hearing it do this as i'm hiking um, some more uh, fire starter. These are Vaseline soaked cotton balls because like I said, it's winter. It's kind of damp here and uh, sometimes things are hard to light. This is a little pathfinder. Uh, not pathfinder, I shouldn't say, but self-reliance outfitters uh, kit. It's got flint and steel. It's got a ferro rod. It's got a magnifying glass and some of their Inferno fire starters, which is similar to this really. This is an Ar Arcturus emergency blanket tarp. One side of uh, this tarp is this green material. And then the other side is this chrome, like space blanket material, right? And they're actually really heavy duty. Maybe I'll do another review on this on its own. You can look them up. There's a million of, you know, reviews already. But this is really rugged. It's good for a ground cloth. That way you can lay on the chrome side and this side down. And then it'll reflect uh, body heat back up at you. Sorry about that. Also, you can use this as part of a shelter, like a lean-to and things like that. Good to go. Got a pair of mechanics gloves here. Got my 100% uh, wool beanie. 
watch cap and then a 100% wool scarf. And I think that's it. So now let's look at how I'm gonna pack it all in. This is important. You notice I'm saving this for one of the last items that's actually gonna go inside my bag. The reason why I'm saving this is because I need quick access to my first aid kit. If something happens, nothing else really matters. You know, I need to get myself to a, in a point where I can survive. Where I'm not gonna bleed out or have my bones sticking out of my leg, whatever it is. I need, you know, I need to be able to do something. So here's this. It's going in the top. Always put it in the top so it's fast to get to. Okay, so all of the equipment aside from that swagman roll is now on my person or in the bag. Saw, all my cutting tools are on my right side. I leave the left side for my wallet. I do have that whittling knife in my pocket, but typically my wallet or another magazine for like a concealed carry magazine that can clip in here. But here I've got these two speed loaders. I've got the two speed loaders here on my side with the magnum here so I have access to it. Even with all of this, oh, even with all of this strapped up, I still have access to all my tools. The waist straps on the pack are nice and even, and they feel really good. They're strapped on good. On the back, nothing's like rocking around and flailing and slapping me. This is all very secure. The Pathfinder pack did come with two straps that I'm using to actually hold all this equipment on here.
Everything else is packed inside appropriately as you watch me do. And I wanted to make sure that the least uh, priority or the lowest priority items are always on the bottom of the bag. The stuff that you're gonna uh, more readily need access to needs to be up higher in the bag so that when you're hiking, you don't have to pull every single thing out of your pack and especially your first aid kit. That needs to go on the top. Typically, if you have a small one, you can put smaller ones in the outside pockets, but these pockets here, which are in the top flap, and the little pocket on the front of the pack, that's all I have. And my first aid kit covers a lot more than just like cuts and boo-boos. So I have that you know, in the top of the main pack. Um, other than that, it's really, really simple. My equipment loadout is probably going to be way different than yours based on the needs of where you're going and whatever state you live in, whatever country you live in. Um, but with this, this is what I'm doing. And I'm going to take this out here probably tonight and uh, use it out here in the desert somewhere. You know, I just want to really test out the uh, Gore-Tex uh, bivy bag. I haven't gotten a chance to use that yet. So really excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll give you one last look. It fits really nice. Everything seems to to feel just good, you know. So it's not really shaking too much. And I, I have used this pack before, but never loaded out like this. And this is more of what I consider like just a full loadout. I can actually go camp like this. And every single thing I need to survive pretty much in any condition here in Nevada is inside this pack right now. It all fits and it's just perfect. So go and check out the backpack again. This is the uh, Pathfinder Scout Pack by Self Reliance Outfitters. Check them out at selfrelianceoutfitters.com. Of course, the other stuff, if you want, one guys want to email me, just ask me questions about my gear or certain loadouts and things like that, my email is highdesertheathenry at gmail.com. Go ahead and just send me an email. I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can on that. I uh, honestly, I'm just bad at keeping up with my emails, especially with that account. So I need to go through and do that. Other than that, um, thank you for watching. Um, you have a blessed day. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be safe.